Ready to do more with USB in your applications and take the next step from your initial evaluation? TI has designed our MSB430 USB products and tools to make development with USB as simple as possible. Whether you're using the new MSP430 USB Launchpad, the MSP430 F5529 Experimenters Board, or a Target Socket Board, we have software and software tools that allows you to quickly get your application code going, even if you have no prior USB experience. Let's take a look at the TI USB Developers Package and Descriptor Tool. Every USB device contains descriptors that specify which USB interfaces are supported, as well as define other microcontroller behaviors. Included in the MSP430 USB Developers Package, the Descriptor tool allows you to quickly configure the USB API stack for any combination of USB interfaces, be it single or composite, and also generates the descriptors for you. In this demonstration, will generate the descriptors that can be used in the MSP430 USB Launchpad's out-of-box demo, which uses one MSC interface and one HID interface. Let's begin by launching the descriptor tool. On the left side of the main window, you'll see the navigation view. This is where the interface structure is displayed and configured. Immediately to the right, we have the Options View panel, where actual configurations are made. This view will change to correspond to the item that is currently selected in the Navigation view. Last but not least, you'll notice the Help pane located at the bottom right corner of the window. This panel provides useful information that help guide you on choosing the right settings. Simply click on a field or hover your mouse over it to see a full description. By default, after the tool is launched, the MSP430 options is shown in the Options view. Here, we will not change any settings. Next, selecting USB device in the Navigation view will show device options. Here, we'll input hex value 0x03fd in the Product ID field for user experimentation. Moving on, the Configuration options show four more parameters that can be set if desired. However, we won't change these settings for this demo. Now, we need to add the interface needed for the project. We'll start by clicking the Add MSC button. Select the interface to see available options. For this demo, we'll select the checkbox for removable media. Next, we'll add a HID interface. Here, we'll change the report type to keyboard and also set the polling interval to 1 millisecond. At this point, we are finished with the descriptor configuration and ready to generate our descriptor files. But before we do so, let's save what we've done so far into a DAT file so that we can reuse these settings for future projects. Finally, we can generate the output files by hitting the gear icon. This generates three files, descriptors.c, .h, and also usbisr.c. All that is left for us is to drop the generated files into the USB config folder inside the project. Let's build the project now and then load the program onto a MSP430 USB launchpad. As you can see, when I plug in the device, 
it is recognized correctly, and the out-of-box demo runs accordingly. That concludes our overview of the MSP430 USB descriptor tool. As shown in the demo, the descriptor tool provides a fast and easy way to generate a set of USB descriptors to enable you to quickly begin developing your application. For more info, please visit www.ti.com slash tool slash MSP430USB dev